Hello everyone, I'm Bruffy1322 and this is another Thursday without a new car to GTA Online. Rockstar have now for two weeks not added a car on a Thursday and which is really strange because there's a lot of cars still to come in the drip feed as we've seen from you know the drip feed showcase video but something that they have released is community jobs as it says on the screen the very best community created jobs hand picked by Rockstar for your convenience. It's in there obviously the jobs menu and there's seven new racing circuits. If you look at all the other modes, there's nothing there. No community jobs available. Oh wait, I just noticed something. There are no Rockstar verified capture jobs available. Now that's something I was gonna say. The community jobs thing seems to be, you know, sort of the, the successor to Rockstar verified. And now I realize that it is just Rockstar verified, but without a, uh, with a new, coat of paint I guess because they've, they've forgot to remove Rockstar they forgot to change Rockstar verified capture jobs to community job death matches or community job capture jobs interesting okay I didn't notice that originally but either way there's seven new races and the last time when we had the Rockstar verified program um, the last time they updated that because it was very active on sort of the old gen uh, was pretty much just after they moved to new gen introduced the stunt races they released like five stunt races, one of which was good, the rest were like terrible if I remember correctly. But I reviewed them. I, I gave a, a thought my thoughts on them. So let's do that today. Let's go through these seven races. One of them I actually already recognize, but we'll talk about that when we get to it. Um, and, and see what they're like. I think the plan with this from what I remember is that these are gonna maybe rotate out and, and new jobs will be putting out all the time. It's not like Rockstar Verified where they just become permanently in the game. But I believe this will be the same on all the platforms as well. So let's, let's check them out. So I'm not doing this on stream. I'm just gonna run through these in a playlist and just do one lap for each one. Um, we'll have a look at the settings before each one, obviously catch up and slipstream. I don't need to change those anyway, but the, the I just want to check for little differences because as you can see, custom vehicles, there's a restricted selection for this one. Uh, this says it's a rally circuit for one to 30 players. So, I mean, let's see what we've actually got to select. Is it going to be restricted to rally cars? Um, like most community jobs that we would, there you go, there's the Omnis. Um, Trop Boss Rally, Comet Safari. So it's basically just those three. Interesting because the Comet Safari is actually OP in comparison to these two. Um, but, you know, if you wanted proper balance, you would have just left it to the Omnis and the Tropos. And there's a few others now, like the GB200, GB200 but maybe it's an older job. Um, I mean, I'll use the Omnis. Let's give it a go. Our first, our first community job. Now, I don't know how old these tracks are. I do have a slight inclination based on something that we're going to see later on that these tracks might be a little bit dated. Um, but we'll see. Are they going to be better than the old, you know, Rockstar verified stuff, which frankly were they, they verified terrible jobs in terms of, uh, you know, the, the quality of the circuits. Um, okay, we're going up here. This is interesting. So it's a rally circuit for 30, up to 30 players. I mean, it's quite haphazardly put together, I would say. Interesting way to cover that pole. But, you know, this isn't too bad. Uh, so obviously we have the Community Verified program. It's on hiatus and it has been on hiatus for a while. Just kind of waiting for the new gen platforms of the game. Um, and hoping that they were going to bring some improvements to the creator. They didn't, but now they have. So we'll probably bring that back at some point for the new gen platforms um, and probably PC as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm hopeful that that is going to come back soon. But obviously, you know, this video will go into the content creator playlist. So if you want to see some great track creations, just check out the playlist. Oh, is that the finish line there? Okay. Um, you can check out the playlist for that. Um, but I'm, I'm basically going to be comparing all of these jobs to those jobs from the community verified program. So that program, we'd have people, we'd have, you know, uh, testers rate the tracks from zero to five, well, one to five really. And, um, 
and the only tracks that were score four or above on average would become community verified would be considered good enough that track i would probably put it at like a three and a half maybe maybe that's generous but it was you know it, it was fine it worked as a rally track there was a few little dodgy areas and visually there were a few um not nice parts i would say but it was it was fine that's a lot better than most of the other you know the, that, that first batch of rockstar verified tracks that we had back in the day uh so good start i you know not not too bad nice to see a proper rally race this is a stunt race for one to 30 players so i'll just leave all the settings on default let's go stunt races obviously they're not my thing but i can appreciate a well-crafted you know good stunt race um let's use the osiris i think but it all depends on you know obviously these are probably create i don't know where rockstar find these creations from because apart from one they're not part of the community verified program um so i don't know where they find them but at least in the case of the old Rockstar Verified stuff, I, I, I wish I knew where they found them, to be honest, because they were rubbish. Okay, I, I already see the idea with this track. <laughs> it's going to be the same everywhere, I'm sure. Crossovers. Crossover in mid-air. I don't know why there's the double checkpoint there in, in the middle. You don't need those double checkpoints. See, this is the sort of thing that I just find boring. Um, I could have done with a checkpoint there to actually tell you where to go to the left there, but... You know, these kind of stunt races, the sort of lowest common denominator type stuff, the the... It, it's it's all right you know with 30 players in a random gta lobby i'm sure people will be able to have some fun does it really matter about the absolute quality of the creation probably not uh, it's okay it's just a little bit sort of not not like in, in, it's that last little bit when it comes to like an attention to detail um, stuff that we used to get from the the community verified program you know it was it was easy to to make a track that scored like a, a mid to high two or a th three but getting that last little bit of quality to get a score of over four that was the bit that made those tracks stand out and you just don't really see that last little bit of extra quality with these i would say or at least so far with the two that we've seen that constant you know iteration why do we have three checkpoints there things like that you know the, the constant giving it to a community the community saying okay you could improve these things about the track you don't really see that last bit of detail um but i mean this is okay i'm sure that the general gta populace would have a decent bit of fun with a track like this it, it it's serving the purpose that it's meant for which is kind of a bit of carnage a bit of you know catch up on slipstream on that sort of stuff a little bit long maybe for the the general gta population maybe maybe it would be better if it was like half the why are so many checkpoints there it is so unnecessary <laughs> Like, things like that. Like, it's a, just that little bit of extra quality. There's no need for all those checkpoints right there, one after another. They serve no purpose. Checkpoints should be as far away as possible such that you can still see it from the previous checkpoint. That's the general rule, and generally on the apex of corners. But, you know, it's okay. I'd probably give it a maybe barely a three. I'm probably being a little bit lenient. Some of the testers for the Community Verified program might not score these as highly. Um, you can leave all your scores in the comments as well. I, let's do it like that. As well as I'm going through, you can like, I don't know, write down what score you would give it from one to five um, for each of these races, and then at the end of the video, put them all into a comment or something. 
so GTA Racing Golf Carts. So this is a G actually GTA mode. I'm still going to do one lap. Obviously, golf carts are going to be the only thing that's allowed. Uh, GTA Race means there's weapons. Let's see if there's actually any pickup weapons. We run GTA Races as normal, but without weapons, just so we can get out of the car, switch cars, things like that. But... You know, the GTA game mode is meant to be weaponized, and yes, there are pickup weapons. <laughs> so, again, this is more on the carnage side of things. We've had a rally race, we've had a stunt race, now we've got a basically carnage. This would turn into a deathmatch very quickly with all these rockets. You'd struggle to finish a lap on something like this, because people would just be exploding people all over the place. <laughs> they still hit it. Especially in such, you know, a, a small proximity of a map um, with such slow vehicles. There's nothing stopping people getting out of their golf carts and just gunning people down before the finish line. So you can either take the jump or you can take the bridge. That's a nice little touch. But when you compare it to um, sort of the, the, I think it's Angel Crazy Golf Rally Race that we did. Um that we've done a, a few uh, random races on before. It's just, you know, you just can't compare it. It's just not the same thing. It's not meant to be the same thing, but when you compare the sort of the quality and the attention to detail of a track like that, that got community verified to something like that, which is fairly simplistic. It's just putting a load of checkpoints and uh, weapons on the, on the ground. But, you know, it works for what it's intending to do. I think I'd probably give it like I don't know it, it's it's if it was submitted as a themed circuit maybe I'd be able to stretch to like a three so just over a three maybe out of five just so that it you know because it is fitting the theme of what's doing but it's not really reinventing the wheel in any way all right little soul raceway it says in the description stunt race but it's set to non-contact by default and it's in the tuners class. Set to night as well. I mean, I'll leave it on the default. Give it the, the best chance. It says stunt race in the description, but I wonder if Rockstar have messed that up and it should be, you know, circuit race. We do have a circuit race later on. Uh, let's take the Jester. Feels like this is kind of trying to be a like a tuner's street race. Crazy golf on that blimp. Do you everyone else see that? Oh, there it goes. Now it's changed to Little Soul Race, where I guess it kept the uh, the message from the last race. <laughs> All right. So far, so okay. It's a little bit dodgy. I don't like that you can fall off the, the map and metal barriers aren't too good. We'd obviously mark it down for that when it comes to a proper race creation. Got some elevation, but very harsh. Oh, look at these transitions. Very harsh. What you find with the, the more high quality tracks is people are incredible creators, track creators, at making the transitions when they're using road pieces very, very smooth by using sort of multiple road pieces for one section of track. You'd never see sort of harsh transitions between two pieces of road like that on elevation. It's a little messy. It's a little, um, I think this is a, so far I would say it's got some good uh, potential. Not an awful lot used in terms of uh, prop removal. You know, all these walls feel very, oh, we got a pit lane. It's nice to see. All the walls make it feel very closed in, which isn't the greatest. Um, this is the sort of thing that I would expect to be submitted to the Community Verified program and not quite make it. Maybe like, again, just over a three. There's still a lot of improvement to be made on that before it gets up to a four. So, you know, again, not an awful lot used when it comes to uh, the prop removal, but it might be an older track before prop removal was even a thing. Um, all the walls feel very closed in. The checkpoint seemed fine, pit lane seemed fine, the route seemed fine, but again, it didn't have that like last bit of quality for um, 
the the transitions you know it was very harsh you know if you've got a a road piece like that and then a road piece like that you've got a big transition in the middle very bumpy whereas you, ideally you want it to be nice and smooth so but it was okay you know it was a decent little street race i don't really like i didn't like all the the sort of the signs very low to the ground there was loads of them didn't really serve much of a purpose but not bad it was okay you could get you could do a proper race on that and that's half the battle it's that again that last little bit of quality i think that's missing but so far we're not experiencing things as bad as the original like the, the rockstar verified stuff i don't know again whether these are going to sort of get cycled out and then we'll have new jobs put in or whether these are just going to stay permanently um let's take the italian this time but we got another i think they, they mislabeled that rockstar in the description that shouldn't have been a stunt race the previous one it was more of a circuit race obviously it's made with the stunt race creator but it was intended to be a circuit race all of these are made with the stunt race creator all right magic box this is a proper stunt race interesting start area full of tubes um, epilepsy warning I guess because this is annoying me already I'd mark it down just for this <laughs> are we really just please don't say we're going to be in tubes for like six miles I think I saw that the track was six miles oh here we go all right back in a tube oh god that's even worse oh this is horrible this is horrible this is awful I don't know why Rockstar put these in. They, without fail, make tracks horrendous when they're used. Those light up tubes. Everything's going to be like this. This is just full throttle all the way. Oh my god. Um, yeah, close your eyes if you're susceptible. This is. Okay, we've fallen. We've fallen down from grace big time. <laughs> this has been a, a big big fall from grace the first four tracks were like improvements could be made but at least they had some level of quality to them i have not i have not gone off the throttle at all yet this is just full throttle all the way there's no like there's no skill there's no cornering there's There's no need to break. Like, the only way you would get a, a race out of this is by putting slipstream and catch up on, and then you'd just be constantly changing positions and people would be crashing into each other and everything. If you ran it on non contact, it would just be everybody together because there's nothing to separate people. This interior section, I will give it the interior section in all the, the boxes like this. I'll give it some credit for that. Like, that feels a bit fun. And this is quite fun as well, I think. This, this area. Aesthetically, apart from those horrendous tubes, this stuff uh, isn't too bad. But it's so basic. Again, I haven't took my, my finger off the throttle yet. I'm still, I've just, R2. Oh, we've slowed down randomly. Okay, I'm guessing, oh, I see. It wants you to follow the, ah, oh, this. Okay, I like that. Well, I mean, I like it first time out as soon as you realize what it wants you to do, but. So there's slowdowns that you've got to follow the the route on the ground because there's slowdown zones if you don't do that. I've still not took my finger off the throttle, by the way. But once you know that route, you just follow the route and then that's it. But uh, you know that's at least at least there's something there. It, this is just so boring to me. Full throttle, all the time. That was it. <laughs> what? 
I mean, it, it had some nice aesthetic moments, but there was just nothing to that race. It was just a load of, like, I like the box bit, sort of the end of the lap, but all those tubes were just horrendous, and then there was no need to break, turn, do anything like that. It was just full throttle all the way. Like, there's so much... There's so many better stunt race experiences that people have created. It's just such a shame that, like, I want Rockstar to be putting out basically just all the community verified stuff. We've we've verified like hundreds of tracks. Uh, you can go check them all out for yourself. I want Rockstar to have to to verify those kind of things and and you know put the really high end creations out to people so people can see what is possible because there's there's so many incredible races there's so many what should i use for this one let's use the terrera x or my new favorite car speaking of the community verified program this comes from the community verified program it was actually verified by us in the community verified program back in May 2017. Um, is this the old version? Maybe I just can't remember the way that it goes at the start. Maybe it hasn't been changed. But either way, May 2017 is when this was verified by us. So this is a five year old track and it kind of shows its age a little bit. You know, we've played it in times since. Shows its age a little bit, but it's still a great track. It was used in the multi-class endurance championship for one of the seasons. It was from Xbox. Um, and this is the this is a normal race, uh, kind of like that little soul raceway. But I would say this has the extra quality to it. Um, It's a, it's a good track, you know. It was verified back in 2017, so I think the game has moved on. Certainly in the, the track creator game has moved on. Maybe this is actually a more updated version. I can't really remember exactly. Um, but, you know, they have actually verified... They, they've, they've put in one of their community jobs a community verified program job. So, hey, they've at least included one. There's so many better stunt races, rally races, and all sorts in comparison to what else we've seen here. And I would, I would argue that there's a lot better now regular racing circuits than this, just because it is so old. Um, but it's still, it still holds, do you know what? This still holds up. I think this is a slightly more updated version to what I'm used to, because there's a prop removal on the lampposts, so. I think it's holding up better than what I thought it would because it's had a few updates since I last drove it. I mean, this is by far and away the best one of the bunch. And there's no surprise that that came from the Commuter Verified program. Even the old iteration of that program back in 2017. I'll leave a link to the video where this was first featured back in 2017. So you can, you can see the original. And, and yeah, it did feature in the multi-class endurance championship as well on the Xbox side. There's, there's minor improvements that could still be sort of levied towards the track as the whole track creator um, experience and, and knowledge has moved on over the years. But, you know, maybe not having so many curb boosting opportunities on the back straights and things like that. But, you know, it still holds up as a decent track. And this is the most normal track, I guess. Um, probably should have locked it to noon. Doing it at night hasn't given it the best chance to show itself, but even so, you know, it's a good track. It's a good track, and I've raced on it many times, so I can't complain at Rockstar putting one of those in. Good job, Rockstar. <laughs> Whether that would get a score of four, these days in the new iteration of everything. I think it probably might scrape a fall. I think there's still that little extra bit, like 
that could be improved but it's still good enough you know you can still do a proper race on that and there's not any sort of major issues there's a few little extra bits of quality that could be added or a little fine tuning but it's still of a high enough quality that it's a good track so there's our first four <laughs> and the last one up the balloon again do you know what let's do two laps shall we Let, let's go wild restricted car selection it's on non-contact by default obviously it's going to be a stunt race let's see what the restricted car selection is it's always tricky when you do restricted car selections because not everybody's going to have those cars okay so this is the restrict i i have every supercar so these are all of the supercars that you can use if you don't have any of these supercars then you will have to use a stock version and be you know significantly um off the pace i mean i guess we'll use the krieger it's kind of the default for something like this oh good lord that's just a random okay I mean, it's a stunt race. You can kind of get away with stuff like that a little bit more. I'm curious what you guys are going to think of these. I'm looking at it through the lens of what I've seen from the Community Verified program and, you know, the, the kind of incredible creations that we've had from that and the submissions that we've had from the community across all platforms. Again, check the playlist and and have a look at them some incredible stunt races rally races regular races you know just it's amazing what the creative community can do especially when they all get together and critique each other's work and try to make all each other's work better and that's what it's all about not quite sure why we've got the, the double checkpoints here but and the massive ones at that It started out as just a bit of a normal race. And now we're going up. <laughs> and where are we going? Okay, well, I mean. This is like, this is like your standard Rockstar created stunt race experience, I would say. And then that's a lap. That is, that is the Rockstar created stunt race experience. <laughs> just, just with a little bit of extra things like with the loop. It, it's, I mean, at least we've got a little bit of regular circuit. I don't know why we've got double checkpoints. I think that makes no sense. But the checkpoints are spaced out okay. Some proper removal has been used, I think, in the city area to open up these corners. It's just not an awful lot to it, really. You know. It, it... But I think, again, Rockstar always have to balance taking things that might be a little bit more complicated that the racing community will appreciate with giving things that aren't too difficult for the general GTA population who can't drive something that they can actually complete. You know, most of all this is just full throttle, it's not really a lot to keeping on the, the tubes, it's not really a challenge like we've seen from some other tracks and you know, really well created stunt race circuits that actually are a challenge to get around them. But Rockstar have to balance not putting something that's too challenging <laughs> it's an okay selection it's certainly a better selection than the rockstar verified program for new gen when we had you know those awful awful stunt races with the bench in the middle of the road and things like that they, did, they released five rockstar verified races and then the program got neglected since whenever it was 2017 2016 and this is now the reskinned version of it i guess and i guess again they're better than those 
they're not fantastic. Terminal 66 is the best. Little Soul Raceway was all right. Um, I think most of them, again, that stunt race, I'd probably give like a two or something. It's very bland. But at least it had some... Oh, yeah, I didn't give a rating for the uh, the magic box as well. That's like, gets a... Uh, I'd give it a 1.5. It had like some elements of like, okay, this could be a good race. But... Uh, there was a lot of work and a lot of interest, like it just wasn't interesting. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, this this is what we kind of expect from Rockstar Verified stuff. This is like Rockstar Verified but reskinned, as we saw from the, the menu where they forgot to change one of the descriptors. It's all right, you know, it, it's it's not... It's not too bad. <laughs> I can't say that they're fantastic races that, you know, would be verified, or, or I can't say that there's hundreds of other amazing races as part of the Community Verified program and that playlist, which, again, I'll leave linked down below for you to just check out some of the incredible creations we've had. In fact, I'll leave one at the end of this video, um, maybe a stunt race. I'll, I'll dig through, find one of the best stunt race experiences, and I'll leave it at the end of this video. I'll take it directly from... The live stream that it happened um just so you can compare the kind of quality of stunt race that's possible with the quality of the stunt races and races in general that we've seen here uh but yeah let me know what you guys think what you know what you thought about these races you you um leave your uh ratings for all of them down below they're not too bad you know i wouldn't mind racing on most of them over and above you know, maybe some of Rockstar created stuff because uh, that gets boring very quickly but it's all right you know that, that's about as good as I can say <laughs> but it's it's not most of them aren't bad so yeah let me know what you think all right last lap let's let's try for a clean lap on the last lap I was doing so well at the start and then I tried to actually do the wall rides and the things that require skill and obviously that didn't work out well for me. But I'm going to keep trying. I'm going too fast, I don't like it. So far, so good. <laughs> Rape the vest. <laughs> I made it! Yes! These are so close to death. I need to be careful about dropping down the, the, the hole that I've made the mistake on the last few laps. Oh, just missed it. Pretty. But we're still on a clean lap. Yes! <laughs> clean lap, last lap. Executed the wall. Beautiful. Fight the battle for the lead.
Clown Van sounds are great. Never had. I think what was what did West Mirror Park get in one of the early waves? It was a four point high something out of there. Was it a four point nine something? If anyone wants to check all the scores of all the verified tracks on all the platforms, it's bruffycom slash verified that gets you all the information for the community verified program, how to submit your own tracks, links to all the tracks that have been submitted, and all the verified tracks now sorted by each submission wave and then by score for every platform but this is our first seemingly as of 30 seconds ago perfect five scoring track for ps4 which is i thought that would be impossible frankly before coming into this stream, it was on a 4.96. Only one person had given it less than a 5, and he'd given it 4.75, which is basically the score just before 5. Um, but as of 30 seconds ago, or as of just before the start of this stream, he's changed it to a 5 because he was the only one. And this is a perfect. This is this is the perfect track. We're gonna say at least a perfect rally track. A perfect five. Absolutely nothing wrong with it, and a great circuit. It's the the thumbnail because how could I not make it the thumbnail? And it's an enjoyable runabout, and I've only done one lap of it. I only did half a lap to get the thumbnail. So it's not a rally cross or anything like that, it's just a, 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 a rally circuit, I guess you could say. Can we stop these streams now that we've reached perfection? So it's a rally circuit. It's not like a super short rally cross or a longer, longer off-road rally course sort of thing. I really like how you go under that bridge as you go around the right hander and then you obviously drive over the top of it as well. Good variety of corners, good mix of on-road and off-road sections. Good layout. Nice um, track extension. Incorporating common roads in a in a different route and unique route. Doesn't try to do too much. Just does what it is meant to do very, very well indeed. In fact, perfectly. This is the first five out of five on PS4. And I think, based on what I've experienced so far, it thoroughly deserves it. This is a great track. This is a proper rally, rally course circuit. You don't see them that often, like normal sort of one and a half, two minute long lap rally circuits. They're always like rally cross, super short or more like standard rally with long point to point stuff. This is a great circuit. I'm well impressed. 
I can see why it got the five. <laughs> you got some jumps, you got a mix of surfaces, mix of corners, it just has a bit of everything. 